Well, good morning, Lionhearts. Your old pal Jordan the Lion. In a very, very rare change of occurrence, I'm not going to complain about the heat today. I'm actually hearing thunderstorms. I don't know if that's my brain playing tricks on me or if I really am hearing it, but I've heard it twice now, so I think we're going to get rain today. Um, I'm going to take us to see something pretty cool. I've driven past this a few times. I've never seen anything about it online. I don't know any of the history of it. The only way we might find out is if I go up and knock on their door. But we're going to go check out this really cool house. Uh, I think I want to get a haircut today. We're going to run some errands. And we might end up somewhere pretty special to eat, too. Something I want to show you. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see how this day shakes out. We'll see if the rain kicks in. We're going to take Jaw outside now before it all starts. Days of Jordan the Lion begins now. Oh yeah, guys, it's starting to rain and we got a couple of really big booms since I've uh, last talked to you. Well, so much for going for a walk, huh, buddy? Yeah, we very rarely even get rain, but to get thunderstorms, I think I've probably heard that maybe three or four times in 18 years, so this is gonna be a wacky day, guys, but it's not gonna stop us. We're gonna do something today. We're gonna get our, uh, mission of seeing something memorable every day we're gonna make that happen so days of jordan the lion let's turn it on well we know i love my top hat but i'm going to a wedding here in a couple of weeks so i decided to upgrade and uh get a wedding top hat a little reminiscent of slash well i think since it's raining this would be a good time to go get the haircut I've been putting it off for probably over a month. I was gonna let it grow and see, just see what happened, but it's getting annoying and I'm having to trim it in weird places, so I'm just gonna go get it cut again. Plus it's summertime, it's getting hot. Well, actually the rain stopped for a little bit, so let's go check out that house I wanted to show you today while it stopped. Then we'll get the hair cut. Not good. Well, as you know, I'm Days with Jordan the Lion, so anytime I see a lion, I'm always curious. And this house I always refer to as the lion house. Now, I actually just met the owner and he said, hey, sure, you can come in and show it off. He just loves lions. And so what he was telling me is that, um, and we'll go in and take a better look. As he was telling me, he said, I just happen to love lions. So he said, for 20 years, he's been decorating this place. And um, check that out. He's been decorating it for 20 years. And he said, right now he happens to be doing uh, renovations on the inside but he said every single holiday he dresses up these for the specific holiday so when you come by here you'll see these with Santa Claus hats or maybe even Thanksgiving clothing or Halloween or Cupid or you know whatever the holiday is and he was even showing me inside he's got it all wrapped up right now but he's even got big thrones for the dining room table that are gold and they're lions on each side yeah, isn't this amazing? Now it's not just restricted to lions, but like I said, he decorates all of these uh, for the entire holiday. And he even puts out different ones. Um, you can see some of the gnomes and things like that over here. But for, um, of course, like Easter, he has the Easter bunnies out here and he puts just a ton of Easter bunnies out and they all have a costume, they all have something. So I promised him, I said, I'll come back here on the next holiday and show off your house. Because he said, at Thanksgiving time, he said he puts a big giant turkey up there. Pretty cool, huh? The Lion House. That's a heck of a lot of lions to have on your property. I love it. And look here, even the columns have things all over them. Well, I thought that place was awesome and the people that own it are actually super nice. They invited me back anytime and uh, actually told me somebody that lives here used to be an old movie star. So I'm gonna look up some of the things that they did and uh, we might be back here to interview the people that live here about some different subjects. But uh, they even sent me away with a drink. <laughs> 
That was really cool. I actually wasn't even gonna talk to them or anything like that. I was kind of thinking about it, but somebody came out that was working on the house and I asked them a question. They said, let me go get the owner and next thing you know, I think I made some friends. Pretty cool when that happens. Now you look outside and it doesn't look like it rained at all. It came out just long enough to make all the grounds wet so Jock couldn't go to a park and then it stopped raining. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. I just noticed this off to the side. All right, let's do a haircut. Alrighty, change of plans. I'm not getting a haircut today because this place, you have to go, it's like first come first serve kind of thing. And I came today because this is usually one of the slower days to get your hair cut. And I noticed when I was getting ready to open the door, there's only two guys working and one of them is one of them that cut my hair one of the last times and I was not happy at all. So I'm like, nope, not taking that chance. So either we'll get it cut somewhere else or we'll get it cut tomorrow. Now let's go to the post office. I gotta mail off some sunglasses. Somebody bought one of my few remaining pair of green sunglasses. All right, one package automated machine. Make it easy. All right, here we go. So what I was kind of thinking about doing maybe for a uh, little addition to the vlog was I was thinking of going and eating at the Hard Rock Cafe in Hollywood um, on Hollywood Boulevard right over there at Hollywood and Highland uh, because they have some of Jim Morrison's leather pants. I've never eaten there. I've never really actually been inside. I've only shown you guys some of the outside. So I was thinking maybe of doing that today. All right, we're gonna try this walk again, but now he's being a bit of a prima donna, not wanting to walk around and give me trouble. So we're taking Ja over to the park now, and uh, on our way we ran into a guy with his dog and we started talking, he and I, um, ended up talking about reggae and that led into talking about Arthur Lee and Love and Jimi Hendrix and all this stuff. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool, pretty interesting guy. And then I leave, and as I'm walking away, I'm sitting here thinking, he mentioned he had done radio, and he, uh, he had done morning radio in San Francisco and stuff like that, and I go, wait a minute, he kind of looked familiar. So, started looking around on Google, it was Matt Pinfield, if you remember Matt Pinfield from, uh, from MTV. No wonder the guy knew so much about music. And I did turn him on to my channel. I told him what I did and what I filmed and stuff. He's like, oh, I'm really into that stuff, so maybe he'll start watching the channel. And there's the park we're going to. Well, there's not a soul here, but that also means, Ja, this whole open space is yours to roam free. Run, my warrior. Well, buddy, we've been here for 30 minutes. Nobody has shown up. We even called Papa. I'll talk to Papa on the phone. And you just got jealous, so I guess it's time for us to go. If it was a Johnny Depp convention or what was going on? We had a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory Johnny Depp, as well as an Edward Scissorhands. And Wow, take a look at this. Bel Air. Well, looks Green Biz has put out the Laurel and Hardy's. That's new, they've changed that up a little bit. Yeah, I never did go in there for the office stuff. I went in a couple of times and they hadn't put it out yet. And then by the time I was able to get over there after all my trips and stuff, I, uh, I figured it would have been gone so I didn't even bother. Whoa, cool one. Who you got here? Darth Vader? Chewbacca? LeBron? Mickey? Are you supposed to be at Disneyland? Oh, we just saw Shrek yesterday. Oh, we've made it. There it is. Alright, like I said, I've never been to this one before, so let's go. That's cool. Right off the bat, I see uh, Brian Bell from Weezer's guitar. I'm a big Weezer fan, so I love seeing that. He's been signed at Weezer. Well, I'll tell you right off the bat, the service isn't all that great because I've already asked to be seated three different people and I'm still not seated and they keep telling me to go to the bar and I don't want to sit at the bar, so 
Then I tell the host, I'm like, hey, I don't want to sit at the bar. And he goes, oh, okay. And then he just turns around and goes back to the host stand and never comes back. So I don't know what's going on here. All right, well, we have some success. I finally got a table after all that right here in front of the drum set. And we're also right in front of uh, Frank Zappa's pants. I'll show you in a second. Right there, checking out Frank Zappa's leather pants. Yes, <laughs> but of course. That is awesome, I love that. That's all about it. These rocktastic leather pants were owned and operated by the singular entity that was Frank Zappa. Frank was quite possibly the only completely unique artist who ever made a mark in the decadent world of rock and roll. There's no easy way to describe his talents. And then on the other side of the stage are the pants that I teased you with. Jim Morrison's Live at the Hollywood Bowl. Brown leathers. I'll call you a little bit better. How about that? It's pretty cool. Those are, uh, you know, he was notorious. You can see there's a big rip right there in the crotch too that had to be stitched up. Um, you know, he was notorious for never washing these things, wearing them constantly, so everybody always said that they just stunk to high heaven, but you can see like a definitive crease in there and everything, that's pretty cool. There's even a little bit of uh, like paint, looks like red paint splashed on there. All right, let's see what we're gonna order. All I've had today is oatmeal for breakfast, so this is gonna be my uh, my next meal. And then we'll go look around at the uh, the rest of the memorabilia. They have guitars and stuff pretty much all the way around. So apparently they're big on the signature cocktails here, so I'm not into that, but uh, they look pretty good. I don't know. Looks like a very Jimmy Buffett, Margaritaville looking thing. But of course they all have theme names, like the Purple Haze, of course, is Hendrix. Then you've got the triple platinum margarita, Fruitapalooza. Oh, actually they have some, uh, some non-alcoholic options as well. They actually do look pretty good. Well, since I'm now going to the gym every night, I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier too. Um, so I'm gonna get this, uh, this new black bean and quinoa burger, I think, to try it out, see how it is. Oh, and that multicolored jacket right there belonged to John Phillips of the Moms and the Papas. That definitely looks like his style, for sure. Oh, this is fantastic, especially since I have uh, just vlogged this rather recently. Joni Mitchell living at the uh, house in Laurel Canyon. Those pictures were from inside that house that I vlogged. Plus, here's a drawing that she did inside that house from uh, for Crosby, Stills, and Nash. It's a fantastic Frank Zappa 200 Motels poster. Oh yeah, I have to show this. This is signed by Iggy Pop. Look what he signed on it. <laughs> I love Iggy. And look at that jacket. That is incredible. Hand decorated for the tour. Oh wow, that's Mark Bullen from T-Rex's jacket. Oh, that's incredible. He was the one that did uh, Bang a Gong, Get It On, and 20th Century Boy, and all that stuff. Oh yeah, that was a really sad story how he passed away. Oh, and that's all Beach Boy stuff. That's a uh, Pet Sound shirt signed by Brian Wilson. That's really great. It looks like they have a like a whole whiskey. That's a Blondie shirt. And then, of course, one of Eddie Van Halen's guitars, homemade Kramer. You can see where he like pasted the name on there himself. That's insane. This is a different one, though. This is painted. This doesn't have all the tape and stuff all over it, so that's a little different. And if you look at the picture of Blondie right there, she's actually at the Hollywood sign with the Hollywood sign behind her. And the picture up there is her wearing that shirt with it signed like that. Oh, and that's incredible. Both of those, that suit and the jacket, both owned by, um, well, this one was actually owned by Ray Charles, but the suit was Jamie Foxx's from the Ray Charles movie. So they kind of have a display for both. Oh, and that top hat belonged to uh, Fishbone. That's a lot like my top hat. Oh wow, 
now we just hit the Holy Grail. We have the original cover of Appetite for Destruction. We have Axel's jacket. I recognize that immediately. You have a uh, guitar, acoustic guitar signed by Slash, which is awesome. It's, uh, it's probably one of the ones used from that era. And then you have some uh, black leather pants here owned by Steven Adler, the original drummer who, uh, who many of you know that he was kicked out for drug use, which is kind of ironic considering who he was kicked out of, you know. They were all doing drugs. Oh, and this is the, uh, the guitar of uh, Warrant. It's signed by all the members of Warrant and everything, and then the jacket was Janie Lane's. Look at that. Remember Cherry Pie? And I actually did get the uh, Berry Smoothie drink off of that menu. I think it was called Berry Licious or something like that. They describe it as a blend of berries with strawberry and orange, which I obviously see there. It's fantastic. It's really good. I don't think I'm going to show everything in here because I think I want to come back. There's a lot of stuff in here and a lot of music playing that could get me in trouble with copyright. What's crazy is that the song that is playing right now is exactly the song that Matt Pinfield and I started our conversation with today when we were out, when I was out and ran into him. He was telling me that he helped make this song possible. He had recommended that this song be covered and be done. So it's so ironic that I'm here eating in the Hard Rock Cafe and Redemption Song is playing right here with uh, Tim Armstrong and Wow, it's pretty cool. See, they're doing the uh, the tribute to Joe Strummer and The Clash. All right, we have the quinoa burger. It's been delivered with a nice healthy knife in it. A flag letting me know where I'm at and uh, some sort of, I don't know, honey mustard or something over there on the side. Chipotle or something, I don't know. We'll try it out. Looks pretty good. It's actually pretty good. It's a mixture of black beans and quinoa, and then they put um, some avocado on there, and it's got some sort of like spicy aioli, or um, whatever this is. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I can't leave with these here. I can't leave and not show you MC Hammer's Reebok pumps. I gotta show you those. Please, Hammer, don't hurt them. Come on. And the last one we're gonna show before we get out of here is a guitar signed by Beck. I'm a loser, baby. Well, okay, maybe if we have Ringo's drums, we gotta show Ringo's drums. I mean, can't not do that. And right there is a picture of him with that same exact drum. Look how he signed it. Right up there. All right, well, that was a pretty good experience. The meal and all the stuff on the inside was awesome. Totally worth going to. And we'll come back again and I'll show you some more things there. Somebody once told me that the fruit carts that are around Los Angeles that have the rainbow roofs are uh, are actually kind of like organized crime owned. That's what I was, I've heard that many times. And looking right here, there is at least one rainbow umbrella on every single corner, including down there. And I'm sitting here thinking, how many people in the world go out and buy a rainbow umbrella in general? you know and yet everywhere you look there's one I don't know maybe that's just BS and they were pulling my leg and that's just like the international umbrella for fruit carts but I don't know man what they were telling me was that the, you can actually buy drugs at those they're like drug fronts now as we walk down Hollywood Boulevard I'll just turn the camera on when I see him and I'll show you how many we see on the way Well, have a great one, everyone. We're going to call it an end to this vlog. I want to thank Jenny Olive for becoming my newest Patreon. If you watch on a regular basis and you enjoy what I do and you'd like to help support this channel, check out the links in the description below. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night and goodbye.